Bradley Cooper. He used to look like this. And then went and started in the A-team and got absolutely shredded. Think about it. Adios, mother. To get into that 18 workout, it was pull-ups, push-ups and dips. As you can see from these pictures on set, a bunch of dumbbell moves like dumbbell chest press, dumbbell rows, dumbbell shoulder press, dumbbell curls, dumbbell extensions, and a bunch of crunches as well. Come on, Bradley Cooper with a six-pack. Let's get into that 18 diet. And as you can see, he got shredded. I've just been sort of on this cra crazy, just sort of getting in shape regimen. Um, not crazy shape, but just sort of believing that this guy can do stuff. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. No salt or sugar. That's been great. So yeah, Bradley Cooper got ripped for the A-team, but then again, Bradley Cooper is a movie star. He has movie star genetics. But with those movie star genetics, you still need to eat. What did he eat? What was his go-to meal? I just eat what they put in front of me. But it's a lot of like boiled chicken and brown rice and broccoli. Oh, wow. Woo. Really? So when this movie ends, that's over, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He ate that, really? I'm shocked. It's always going to be the go-to Hollywood movie star body transformation combo of chicken, broccoli, and brown rice. No salt, no sugar. And after the A-team shreds, well, the abs, they uh, they went. So I'm happy it's caught in uh, celluloid for a little bit because it's gone. Well, I know, it's just hard to keep that up. It's just, uh, it's no fun. I don't recommend it. You see, for this movie, American Sniper, he needed to do his biggest transformation yet. I had like two and a half months to prepare, and I said, you know, I just gotta make sure that, I, you know, that people believe I'm Chris. You know, the first thing to do was gain the weight and get big, as big as I could. I mean, he literally became a Navy SEAL in 10 weeks. This guy uh, was 230 pounds, and uh, he was a monster. When I had just finished this Camera Crow movie, I was 185 pounds. If I don't believe I'm Chris, no one else is gonna believe it. And I need to figure out how he talks and then I need to figure out how he walks. And the only way to do that is to get as big as he was, or try to. He added a hell of a lot of strength and size. He upped his weight, deadlifting 425 pounds, and he upped the calories. He ate eh, just a little more. Yeah, I ate 6,000 calories a day. Yeah, it was insane. Yeah, it was he insane. was huge. You know, you switch to 6,000 calories a day, five to 6,000, which is a massive difference. And then, you know, wake up at five, four, four thirty, drive, ride to the gym, five to seven, and then come back eight to ten thirty, work on dialect, and then two to four thirty, gym, and then six to eight dialect, and that was five days a week, and that was it. And I just sort of ate, slept, drank this guy for two and a half months. So Bradley Cooper went from 185 pounds to 225 pounds in almost 12 weeks. That's 40 pounds in 12, quick maths, 40 pounds in 12 weeks. It kind of helps if you have your own trainer and chef though. You need a budget for it. Yeah, you say, this is these are the people I need. Here's the goal I want to get to here. These are the people that I've researched that will help, that give us our best shot. I had a lot of help uh, with Jason Walsh, as a trainer, and Kristen O'Connor, a chef. To get into that American Sniper workout, it was two workouts a day. Strength in the morning, volume in the afternoon, and as you can see from his workout schedule, a whole load of recovery, and he needed it. Uh, 5 a.m., rode the bike to the gym, 6 to 8, 30 workout, then 10 to 12 dialect, and then 2 to 4, 30 workout, and then 6 to 8 dialect, and then go to bed. And then the when we day. were shooting, often, you know, the, the call time is 6 a.m., he'd get up at 4, 3.30, 3 30, go, go and gym. work out yeah, first. Yeah, it was insane. He was a machine. There was no, there was no room for error. He was, uh, it was my height, it's my age, uh, my shoe size, but he was, you know, 30, 40 pounds heavier and was from Texas. The trap bar deadlift was his go-to move, along with a bunch of barbell work like squats, shrugs, bench press, overhead press, rows, push-ups to failure, and band pull aparts as well. The one thing I would constantly ask the writer afterwards, like after a take, it was the only thing I would ask him. I'd turn and be like, hey man, do you think I'm big enough? I'd always think like, <laughs> and then when I saw the first cut of the movie, and I thought, if I was any bigger, it would have literally just been right into farce. I mean, it was like really, <laughs> like the strap barely went around my head on the helmet, like my cheeks blew up, it was so funny. It's against that American sniper diet, and you, you won't catch a shot of the abs in the movie. There were no abs. It was an ab-free transformation. Abs weren't the goal, guys. He didn't need to get ripped, he needed to get big. And that's a big difference. I mean, everyone wants to eat 6,000 calories a day and still have abs, right? <laughs> Listen, if you want to get ripped like a Hollywood movie star, maybe you're already hitting 6,000 calories a day like Bradley Cooper, then get on the program. Link in the description.